Cape Canaveral, Florida, CNN Business, the stakes have never been higher for Elon Musk's SpaceX. On Wednesday, the company will attempt to launch two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station in a mission called Demo-2. It will mark the first time in history that a commercial aerospace company has carried humans into Earth's orbit. NASA and space fans have waited nearly a decade for this milestone, which will usher in the return of human spaceflight to U.S. soil. The launch of SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft is moving forward despite the COVID-19 pandemic, which has shuttered both private and government operations across the U.S. NASA says it must carry on with the mission in order to keep the International Space Station, a giant orbiting laboratory, fully staffed with U.S. astronauts. The space agency's top official, Jim Bridenstine, also said he hopes this launch will inspire awe and uplift the general public during the ongoing health crisis. The United States hasn't launched its own astronauts into space since the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011. Since then, NASA's astronauts have had to travel to Russia and train on the country's Soyuz spacecraft. Those seats have cost NASA as much as $86 million each. But the space agency chose not to create its own replacement for the shuttle. Instead, it asked the private sector to develop a spacecraft capable of safely ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station, a controversial decision considering that NASA had never before outsourced the development of a human-rated spacecraft. The thinking was that commercial companies could drive down costs and spur innovation, and NASA would have more time and resources to focus on exploring deeper into the solar system. In 2014, NASA awarded two contracts, $4. 2 billion for Boeing to build its Starliner vehicle, and $2, 6 billion to SpaceX, which planned to create a crew-worthy version of the Dragon spacecraft that was already flying cargo to and from the International Space Station. NASA had already put money towards SpaceX's development of the Dragon spacecraft used for transporting cargo. The space agency has said Boeing received more money because it was designing the Starliner from scratch. Boeing recently suffered a significant setback when a Starliner capsule malfunctioned during a key uncrewed test flight. But if SpaceX can carry out this mission, it'll be a major win for NASA, which has been pushing for more commercial partnerships. Not to mention, NASA won't have to ask Russia for rides anymore. NASA and SpaceX are currently targeting Wednesday at 4.33 PTET for liftoff from Florida's Kennedy Space Center in Brevard County, Florida. If bad weather or technical issues get in the way, NASA has May 30th and May 31st down as backup days. As of Monday evening, there looked to be about a 60% chance of favorable weather conditions. On launch day, officials will evaluate weather at 6 hours, 4 hours and 45 minutes before launch.